But right now, Caltrain is working on a modified schedule, running just 69 trains down from the regular 104. KPX 5's Jocelyn Moran has a look at how this impacted the morning commute. Well, the train remains here on the tracks in San Bruno. You can see some of the aftermath. Many questions still remain as to what exactly happened, but this here impacted many trying to get to work this morning. I mean, it would have been nice to have known ahead of time that I was going to have this extra stop. Worthington Foster found out about what had happened as he was on Caltrain this morning, and that as a result, he'd have another stop. Sam Trans buses took passengers between the South San Francisco and Millbrae stations, causing some delays. I kind of got here, I didn't know what was going on, and someone told me about it, so I was like, oh, okay. It's kind of, like, confusing and kind of hectic. But, you know, uh, I'm just hoping whatever happened, everyone's okay, that it's okay. 13 people were injured Thursday, according to Caltrain officials. A southbound train crashed into construction equipment on the tracks, a vehicle and a crane. They say none of the injuries are life-threatening. This here, up close images of a burned train car. Some people started opening up the emergency exits in the window. Some people actually jumped out of the window. Caltrain officials say they've been doing construction on the tracks, but all the equipment should have been cleared of the tracks when trains come through. Investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board arrived last night. In a news release, Caltrain says, quote, as soon as the NTSB releases the incident site in San Bruno, Caltrain will begin work on repairing the tracks and restoring full service. Caltrain says buses will continue to take passengers between the impacted stations. Any more details we get regarding this investigation, we'll be sure to update you. In San Bruno, I'm Jocelyn Moran, KPIX 5.